Guys, I'm currently at Lake Kivu Serena. This is the place to be. Guys, look at the view. Check out the view, please. Check out the view. Isn't it beautiful? Come on. A lot of people compare Rwanda to Switzerland, but in my opinion, I think Rwanda is far more beautiful. Sorry, Switzerland. Yeah, I feel bad by saying that, but because Switzerland, I love Switzerland so much, but I feel like Rwanda is definitely more beautiful than Switzerland. Tell me what you think, guys. But I think I'm quite biased because maybe I'm married to a Rwandan. So let's go and talk to someone from Switzerland to get another opinion. Come with me. Africa, yes. Um, so Thierry, this is your first time here in Rwanda, in your honest opinion, not because mm. you know I'm interviewing you. What do you think of Rwanda? Uh, I'm very partial because I fell in love of around this woman before falling in love of Rwanda. But uh, I should say, this is my answer. I love my future wife even more after discovering her country, Rwanda, you know. And I understand why she is so generous yeah. and a little bit crazy and nice and calm and sometimes so quiet, mm. you know, and I think this is wrong. Aww. My heart's melting now. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> um, there's a question I want to ask you. Um, what untapped opportunities in terms of film do you think is here in Rwanda? So what are the potentials do you think? It's huge, actually. And, uh, you know, as an uh, artistic director of a film festival, I was very surprised to discover that Rwanda was not filmed so much. Mm -hmm. The first film ever made in Rwanda was in 1950, when, you know, in countries like far away, like Madagascar or Australia, you had movies at the end of the 19th century. Mm -hmm. um, here it was 1950, it was uh, King Solomon's Mines, Certainly, maybe they came around here. I have to rewatch the movie, actually. But you, certainly, you, they, they came around here. There was nothing, basically. You'll have to watch and yeah, see. Yeah, sure. Maybe there's something you missed. Uh, yeah. And the most surprising thing is um, that the first movie ever made by somebody from Rwanda was in 2001. So for more than 50 years. Yeah, 50 years, there, there was no movie made by uh, Ronda, Ronda and Guy uh, after the first movie ever shot here. So I think maybe it's kind of, uh, you know, I'm a Swiss guy and we have a problem. It's that we don't like to be arrogant, we are discreet. So uh, maybe, maybe uh, I would say that, you know, when a country makes cinema, like you, Americans, yes. you know, you're just like making like that. Maybe Ronda was not ready to, to, to make like that, mm. Wa wanted to stay discreet, mm -hmm. wanted to keep his richness discreet, discreet. To, to provide the invaders and the colonialists and all these stupid things that came. Mm. But do you think now is the time to sure. unleash and... Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I think that uh, the time has come, you have now uh, a new generation after the, the pioneers like Eric Cabera. Mm -hmm. uh, now you have a complete new generation who, is, uh, who learned to make uh, movies uh, in Europe. Uh, so they have the skill, you know, the technique. The skills, yeah. yeah. And now, uh, can you imagine when you come in a country and make movie and there was no movie before? Can you imagine how many stories you can tell? tell. And oh, it's not amazing. only it's not only about genocide. No. It's, you know, it's it's about all the grandmother stories, all the stories about uh, people coming from Egypt or you know the the yeah. black pharaohs. The, yeah. And now it's time that these guys take their story and it's time that the Americans and the French and everybody and I saw a lot of these movies made by the others here uh, uh, they are not the truth you know I'm here in Rwanda and I can say that maybe I know more about Rwanda now after one week wow. than after watching everything made by the Americans the French the, the British here 
so this country needs a cinema and this cinema needs to be done by uh, the guys and the girls from here. Wow, you hear it from yeah. Thierry himself. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, there's one, uh, well maybe one or two more questions I'm going to ask mm -hmm. you actually. What would you say um, to people who are afraid of coming to Africa or afraid of coming to Rwanda? What would be your message to them? Okay. Um, I was like that, you know, I'm a Swiss guy and uh, for I was a film critic l a long time and when I became an artistic director of a festival I had to travel and I was afraid all the time, you know. And I, sh I should say that, you know, I went to Mexico, I went to Madagascar, I went to uh, South Korea. Uh, I, I can say that coming here is the safest, the, the most comfortable place I have seen, I think. You know, even if you have all this history, you don't feel it at yeah. every corner. The, 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 the main thing that you feel is the generosity of nature. Yeah, you know? that's that presence. Absolutely. It's, it's calming, it's relaxing. It's like nature is still the king or the queen here. You know, and human beings are respectful of that. Uh, in so many countries, including mine, and you know, we are talking now that some countries are trying to talk about climate change and doing nothing, you know, uh, we, we just don't respect and respected anything here uh, because of this. How can you how can you uh, just destroy that? No, you, you can't. Know, nature is stronger than human being oh, here, and you have to respect that. And it brings in, in, in you something like the roots, you know, I'm not from here. It's like you feel connect, there's a connection Absolutely. that you feel, definitely, yes. I, I totally understand. I'm not from here, you know, yes. I'm definitely, as you can see, not from Africa, but I feel like being a human being here. Yeah. Oh, amazing. Of this herb. Oh, amazing. Um, so how would you, <laughs> finally, how would you compare Rwanda to Switzerland? You know, there are, there are, uh, we say that Rwanda is the small uh, Switzerland of uh, Africa, the Switzerland of Africa, and there are a lot of similarities. Like people are very respectful. Uh, people in Switzerland don't talk so loud. They don't talk very loud yes. here. Uh, we also uh, live with different communities. You know, and we know. Uh, that different communities are cohabitating here. Yes. It's the same in, in our country where we live with people talking German, French, Italian, mm -hmm. yes. uh, and different religions. And this is another cinema similarity. And you have to manage uh, what we call in Switzerland the, the consensus. The consensus is a way to talk until you find the solution that yes. pleases to everybody. Yes, yes. It's a common ground. Absolutely. I guess. Yes. It's very slow process. Mm -hmm. It's a very slow process, but at least um, it's not like going fast and then you have to go back because mm -hmm. you made the mistake. Yes, you yes. know. And I think that this country just has that. It's like developing very slowly, very quietly. Mm -hmm. I love that, and oh. I would like to participate. Oh yeah. wow! I think there's so much opportunities here, and mm -hmm. you know, we want you to get involved and I will. show us what. You know, it's been untold, I guess. Okay. Um, okay. Or, yeah. So, thank you so much. You're and, welcome. Um, yeah. This is Rhonda. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And you can also follow my Instagram, Live La Voyage. Thank you guys so much. And don't forget to share this video.